Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to unroot or unbrick your Galaxy Nexus, whether it be a Sprint model, a Verizon model, International, any variant of the Galaxy Nexus. This is the latest and easiest method to bring it back to complete stock and just like out of the box settings. I do want to make a quick note that it will factory reset your device and also uh, wipe your internal storage. So have everything backed up on your PC. Just transfer all the files over in a specific folder then you can transfer them back when you're done. So this will uh, again wipe everything. Uh, right now I'm currently on a custom ROM on a 4.2 Jelly Bean ROM. Uh, so again, it does not matter what build you're on if you're just stock rooted or anything. So first of all, what you're gonna to need to do is set up the WUG Fresh Toolkit. Um, if you need help set downloading and installing it, I'll link to it in the description where you can download it, but if you need help with it, um, I will link to my, I believe, Nexus 4 how to root video or unroot video, or I think it's my root video showing you how to set that up. Again, it's for the Nexus 4, but it all, the beginning of it shows you how to set up that root toolkit. So if you need help with that, click on that how to root video in the description of the video and watch that while you're setting up that toolkit. Once you've set it up, you're ready to go, go to your PC. Actually, before you go to your PC, uh, on your device, we're going to need to turn on USB debugging. So first of all, go ahead and go into settings and then scroll all the way down. And we're going to need to turn on developer options to get USB debugging to show. So go to about phone and go to build number and quickly tap on it seven times until it says you are now a developer. And once you've done that, you'll see developer options do show up. Click on those, turn on developer options, and then check USB debugging and hit OK. So make sure USB debugging is checked. Once it is, uh, don't plug your device in just yet. We need to set up the drivers first. Um, once we've done that, then you can plug it in. But go ahead and go to your computer. Okay, and once we're at our computer, again, we should be this. It says your model type. Go ahead and select the device you have. Uh, whether it be a GSM HSPA Plus, a Verizon one, or a uh, Sprint variant. So I have the Sprint variant, so I'm going to select that. And it says select the Android build you are currently running. It's very important to select the appropriate one. Again, as I said, I'm on a custom uh, Jelly Bean ROM. If you are on an official build, go ahead and select whatever official build you are on. Um, but right now I'm going to select the Jelly Bean Custom ROM. I'm going to hit Apply. Now it just says to turn on USB debugging. We've already done so. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, once you've hit OK, we are ready to go. Go ahead and select uh, Full Driver Installation Guide. Uh, what I recommend doing is skipping to step two and go to PDA Net Drivers and set those up. I already have them set up. Click on those. There's actually a step-by-step -step guide on setting up your PDA Net Drivers. Watch that. So uh, that's how you set up PDA Net Drivers. Once you've set them up, now you can grab your a Galaxy Nexus and plug your device into your computer, you'll, you will see up at the top, it'll actually say USB debugging connected. So once USB debugging is connected, you know it's there, um, we are ready to go. So what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and you'll see in the right hand corner, we're either soft bricked or devices on normal. So select whichever one you, you are at and press the flash stock unroot. Again, it will completely wipe your device as I mentioned earlier. Device is on, press okay if you're ready to Continue. So now it's uh, gonna go ahead and you wanna browse for a factory image, I believe. So um, it looks like there's actually, here we go. So what we can do is press this button right here and we want it to automatically download and extract the factory image we want. So select here and then you'll see a drop down. Uh, the latest one is this FH05 build, the 4.1.1. I'm gonna select that and let it automatically download it for me. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then it should bring up an automatic downloader. It's a uh, Finexus Factory Image Downloader. Here it is. So again, make sure you don't you don't select the FH05 build if you have a Verizon Galaxy Nexus and whatnot. Select whatever build you want to go back to on your specific device. That's why we selected um, our model type at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to let it download. It'll take a bit of time. These these images are are pretty large, but I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it just got done downloading. You'll see 100%. It says complete. It's going to ma match everything up, and it says extracting the image. So once the image is done extracting, it's actually just going to get started right away. Um, so I believe it's going to reboot our Galaxy Nexus into the bootloader once it uh, completely recognizes our device. So it'll say device connected, rebooting into the bootloader, so let it do so. And here we go. So we are in the bootloader. Again, then it's going to recognize our device. And once it does, it, it'll bring up a command prompt, which will automatically flash all of the stock files onto our device. Again, this will completely wipe our device, which is what it's letting us know now. Press OK if you're ready. And it does bring up this command prompt, as I mentioned. So here it is. Here's the command prompt it brings up. Uh, it writes a bootloader. It reboots us back into the bootloader, waiting for device. 
and then it will type in those automatic command prompts for us, flashing the system, everything. So this does take a bit of time. This is where it is bringing it back to stock. So make sure you do not unplug your device. If for any reason something happens, you might want to try a different cable, try a different USB port as well. Um, you can try reinstalling the drivers. So those are some troubleshooting steps uh, with this toolkit. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to let it run through and I'll be back once it near, is near and completion. All right, so it finished flashing. It says rebooting. You also see that padlock is still down there, so we're not just done yet. But uh, it did finish up. It did take a bit of time again, as I mentioned earlier. So once we're done booting up, you can actually press any key to exit out of this. So uh, it also says you should change your model type. So keep that in mind. If you did change, again, I was on a Jelly Bean ROM, so that's what I switched it to. Uh, but now it's back on a different build. So I'm going to change that right there so make sure you do change it to whatever build that it did change to um, so hit ok and then change it to your specific device and whatever build you are on so make sure that does get changed but then once it boots up i will be right back okay so my device just booted back up you can go ahead and set this up if you'd like to no more user data will be wiped uh, but here we go again all you have to do is go back into settings and go down to those developer options again and turn them on and make sure USB debugging is checked once more. So check USB debugging, hit OK, turn it back on, and now we are ready to go. We need to do one more step actually, we need to lock the bootloader. So to get that padlock locked once more, we need to press this OEM lock button in the bottom right hand corner, hit OK, and then it says checking ADB status, and then it'll bring us back to the bootloader and type in a quick command prompt of fast boot OEM lock. And then that should be it, should reboot our device once more. So again, in the bootloader, let it type in that command. All right, so it is typing it. It says it should now be relocked. So that is it to confirm it. Just check the boot screen, press OK if you're ready to continue. And then it will reboot our device once it boots up. There we go, no more padlock down at the bottom. So that is it. That is the latest and easiest method to unroot or unbrick your Google Galaxy Nexus device. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. You can also subscribe to me, please do. Press that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.